Hey there, you guys. This is Dragon Ball and Cartoon Fan 2004 here. And, uh, okay. So today's Christmas Eve, and Christmas is tomorrow, which is exciting. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I've got some content. I I've got some content on my channel coming out for uh, Christmas Eve today. Uh, one of them being that Shadow Shrek movies cast video, which will be premiering live on my channel at 5.30. Yeah, so that's it. So yeah, that will be exciting. I'm excited to see what you guys will think of my Shadow Shrek movies cast video. And again, I haven't yet fully decided on whether I want my Shadow Shrek movies to be full movie spoof projects or not. But I'll, I'll think about it, guys. I'll think about it. But yeah, apart from that, another thing that I'll be doing for my channel today is in this video all where I will do I will rank all of the I'll rank all of the villain casting choices from Vanilla Rabbit Lover 2001 Productions is Shrek and Toy Story spoof films and all that stuff because yeah. This morning, uh, he made me a comment asking me, con politely asking me if I could, you know, do this video as a Christmas Eve present where I rank all the villain casting choices from his Shrek and Toy Story spoof films. And I asked him if, if, you know, if it has to, if the video really has to be a video of me where I literally rank all the villain casting choices from his Shrek and Toy Story spoof films from my least favorite to my favorite, or if I could just do this in a tier list video since that's easier. And yeah, he gave me the permission to do it in a tier list video, so yeah, cool. Alright, so yeah, um, this will be my first tier list video in a little while, and this tier list, tier list video will be on the sh the villain casting choices from Vanilla Rabbit Lover 2001 Productions Revivals' Shrek and Toy Story spoof films, and yeah, I'll be listing through all these, but yeah, I have all these villain casting choices texted to myself off the textingstory.com, and yeah, um, yeah, I'll do this, I'll, I'll do this ranking, but before I do so, uh, just so you guys know, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, because, you know, uh, a lot of casting choices get spoiled in this video, and I might spoil some other things about these Shrek and Toy Story spoof films in this video. Yeah, of course, if you want to watch Vanilla Rabbit Lovers Shrek and Toy Story spoof films, a link to them will be in the description below. And yeah, I have all these villain casting choices uh, texted to myself off of textingstore.com, and yeah, I'll be uh, going through these. Uh, I'll be going through these in the order that I texted them out, and I'll explain to you guys where I would put these on a tier list and all that stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, with all that being said, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so uh, first, okay, so we're going to tackle the casting choices, the villain casting choices from his Shrek spoof films first. And the first casting choice is Hugh Tess from Johnny Tess as Lord Farquaad. I'm going to put that one at the A tier, A tier casting choice. And uh, yeah, speaking of Johnny Tess, guys, uh, by the way, I have recently rewatched some clips of Johnny Tess off of YouTube. And yeah, it's a pretty, and yeah, I think the show still holds up fine. I think it still holds up fine. Like I've said before on the channel, I haven't seen a full episode of Johnny Test in a while and over the past four and year, like in over the past four and a half years to be more specific. And yeah, but I have recently just seen some clips. We watched some clips of Johnny Test off of YouTube. And yeah, the show, yeah, the show seems to hold up fine. I mean, maybe, maybe it's not as great as it was when I was a little, when I was a little kid. But still, I think the show holds up fine. Like, I understand why people hate it, but for me, I... For me, I don't think the show is that bad. I think it holds up fine. If I were to have ranked it on my uh, cartoon shows of all time tier list, I would have put it at like A or B tier. But yeah, but yeah, I can see why people would hate it. And yeah, since I like it, I don't mind the casting choice of Hugh Tess as Lord Farquaad. In fact, I think it's a pretty good. I think it's a pretty good casting choice. Although you can argue it's pretty weird having Hugh Tess, Johnny's dead Hugh Tess, be Lord Farquaad when he has Johnny himself. When you know this project has Johnny Tess himself. As not, you could argue that's pretty weird, but yeah, he would test his Lord Farquaad. I like this casting choice. I'd put it in the A tier. Now, uh, now we're moving on to Shrek 2, the casting choice from Dookie 2, Shrek 2, which is still to this day my favorite spoof film from Vanilla Rabbit Lover. And yeah, this is a uh, Queen Chrysalis, a uh, Queen Chrysalis, Chrysalis as the Fairy Godmother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's going. Yeah, that one's going in the F tier. That one's going in the F tier. That one's going in the going right there in the F tier. Same thing with King Sombra as Prince Charming, although. I will say, although I will say it doesn't annoy me as much as the Chrysalis one, but I still, but I still hate it. Still garbage. F tier, F tier. Okay, but uh, yeah. Now getting back onto the Johnny Johnny Test casting choices. Um, Wacko, yeah, Wacko as Rumple Stiltskin. Yeah, you know, Wacko the evil toy maker from Johnny Test as Rumple Stiltskin. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah. This is a good casting choice. I wouldn't say it's as good as Hugh Test as Lord Farquaad, but I, I like this one too. I think I'd put this one in a, a, a tier as well. So yeah, this one gets a tier. Uh, there's also Susan Test as Fifi. Uh, not as good as the other Johnny Test villain casting choices I've already covered, but still, it's fine. It's a, it's a good, I guess. I'll put it at the, I'll put it at B tier. I'll put it at B tier. But I think there's better. I mean, I get it. I get that he did this casting choice because he really hates Susan Tess and all that stuff. Like how he had Hugh Tess be Lord Farquaad because he really despises Hugh Tess. I get it. I get it. But, 
But still, I don't think Susan was really the best choice for Fifi. I f probably should have said this in the Dookie Forever After review. I think that I think that it would been. I think that there's better casting choices out there for uh, for Fifi. But yeah, but yeah, Susan is Fifi. It's still not a bad casting choice. I'd put it. At, I would put it at B tier. Okay, so now we're moving on to the Toon Story series. Okay, now we're moving on to the Toon Story series that he did that he did of April this year. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, like I said before, I don't like this one as much as the, uh, as much as the Dookie Shrek movies, not just because, uh, yeah, it's not just because I like Shrek more than Toy Story, but it's also because, uh, but it's also because, you know, at least the Dookie Shrek movies, at least the main protagonist of the Dookie Shrek movies is, like, is a character from a show I actually like, unlike this one, which is a character from a, sh from a show I hate, My Little Pony, and you got Discord from My Little Pony as, you know, as, as Woody and yeah, the yeah, the series that really ruined this Toon Story series for me. Um, seriously, as an honest friend, Rena Rapid Lover, I really don't get what you see in My Little Pony, but whatever, whatever, it's your opinion. But yeah, moving on to the Toon Story casting choices. Um, yeah, well, I still wouldn't exactly consider the series to be good, like I said in those reviews. There's still a lot of stuff for me to enjoy from these reviews, and one of them being uh, this casting choice I'll go over with Bumper is Sid. Yeah, Bumper as said, this is yet another time where he had a Johnny Chess character he hates being in spoof films. And yeah, he has Bumper, that, Bumper, that bully from Johnny Chess as said. And yeah, I think it works well. Easy choice for A tier. I, I like that one. Um, okay, so now we're moving on to Toon Story 2, and there's uh, this character, Moneybags from Spyro as Ow, I don't know much about Spyro, so I'm not going to rank that. Yeah, but next up is Nigel from the Rio, from Rio as Stinky Pete. Yeah, next up is is this villain dude from Rio, Stinky Pete. Yeah, I, I'll put that one in the beats here as well. I'll put that one in the beats. I'm not too crazy about Nigel Stinky Pete, but I think it's good. I think it works. I think it works well enough. And uh, next up is King Sombra Zerg. <sighs> not. Uh, I'm not in the mood to go on a monstrous rage rant on My Little Pony. Uh, I think this one's probably even worse than King Sombra as Prince Charming. I don't know. They're both. They're both still pretty garbage for me, though. <sighs> but, but I don't know. I would say out of all the Milo Point casting, I would probably say out of all the Milo Point casting choice villains, um, King Sombra as Prince Charming is probably the mo. Is probably my favorite, but that's not really saying much. It's still garbage. I'm still putting King Sombra as Zerg at F tier. And, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. To to wrap this up quickly, any Milo Pony casting choice from. Any My Little Pony villain casting choice goes into the F tier. Goes into the F tier because My Little Pony is an overrated, overused, garbage little girl show that that gets used way too much in these spoof films. And yeah, 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 yeah. The stuff I've ranted about many times in the past. You guys get the point. You guys get the point. But what would be my least favorite villain casting choice from you know these Shrek and Toy Story spoof films of Vanilla Rabbit Lovers? Is, hmm. Yeah, Rabbit Lover would like me would like me to answer this question in this video, even though this is a tier list video, not a video of me ranking all these villain casting choices from worst to best. But which one would? Let me think about that for a second. Which one would be my least favorite? Mm, I don't know. Maybe Chrysalis as a fairy godmother. Maybe that. If not, I don't know. Maybe Sly Twy as a Gabby Gabby for his Toon Story Four project. But yeah, let's continue on. But yeah, let me continue on with this list. Okay, now we're, now we're getting on to Toon Story Three. And yeah, there's some there's some good villain casting choices in Toon Story 3. Uh, for one of the main, Captain Gut from Ice Age Continental Drift as Lotso. Uh, yeah, that's another good casting choice. I'd put that one at A tier. That one gets A tier for me. Uh, next up is Cream as Big Baby. Let me think about that for a second. Would that one be A tier or B tier? Either way, it's still not the best song casting choice I've seen from these spoof films. But yeah, let me think about that for a second. Would that one be A tier or B tier? Hmm. Uh, I think... Hmm... It's kind of hard to decide. Let me give me a second. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, I guess I'll put that one at A tier as well. So yeah, that one gets A tier. But still, definitely, uh, definitely not the best song casting choice that is from this Toon Story series of his. I'd probably say the best song casting choice from this Toon Story series of his. Oh no, it would maybe be Knuckles as Duke Kaboom for his Toon Story Four project. Even though I, I hate, I hate Toon Story Four. One of the worst spoof films ever, in my opinion. Oh my god. But still, Knuckles' Duke Kaboom was one of the only good things to come out of that garbage movie. But yeah, uh, that would probably be my favorite song casting choice from this Toon Story series of his. I would probably put that casting choice at like A or S tier. But uh, yeah, um, 
but yeah, okay, let's continue on with this list. Uh, next up is the Bully from Super Mario Logan as uh, the brown toy. Another really good one. I would put that one at A tier as well. Along with Hugh Test as the bookworm. Although, it's definitely not as good as how he had him be Farquaad for his Dookie 1 project. But, well, it makes sense. Is the bookworm doesn't get as nearly as much screen time as Farquaad does. But yeah, I still like how he had Hugh Test be the bookworm. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty good. But, yeah. Um, yeah, next up is uh, another Johnny Test casting choice that I would put at B. And that is uh, Susan Test as the monkey. Yeah, yeah, I think this one's probably even worse than the, uh, I think this one's probably even worse than the, uh, than, than the, um, than how he had Susan be Fifi for his Dookie Forever After project, like, I mean, it's not bad, it's not bad, I would put it, I, I would put it at B tier, it's like, it, it's good, but definitely not the best casting choice for that crazy monkey, I mean, come on, there's like actual monkey characters that you could have had be that monkey be that monkey instead of Susan Tess. And I probably should have said this in the two story three review, but whatever. I'm saying it right now, so yeah, I think there's better casting choices you could do for that uh, evil monkey. Like for example, uh you, like you could have had like that evil monkey who lives in Chris's who lives in Chris's closet from Family Guy be that evil monkey like I've like I've done for my Toy Story Jaden Picture style cat updated version cast video thing. <laughs> yeah, I also found someone else on YouTube who used that casting choice for their cast video after me. <laughs> LOL. Yeah, that is a pretty fitting casting choice. But yeah, Susan Tess as the monkey as the evil monkey. It's it, it's good. It's it's fine. But I think there's better. I think there's much better casting choices you could do for that evil monkey. But still, it's still good though. Still gets a still gets a spot at B tier. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tier list, guys. Okay, so yeah, yeah, all the casting choices on this t that I've ranked on this tier list are either A, B, or F tier, and of course, like all the my level point casting choices, yeah, they sit down there at the bottom of the barrel at F tier. Garbage casting choices. Definitely the best thing you did with these uh, my level point villain casting choices was King Sombra's defeat and Dookie the Third. That was pretty cool. That was like one of the only good things he did with these uh, with my level point characters being these villain characters. Oh. But yeah, there was some uh, casting choices at A and B tier. And yeah, yes, guys, I know. Usually, when I do these tier list videos, I would usually have like multiple. I would usually have some, uh, some you know, entries at S tier. But no, this time, nah, I don't think there's anything on this tier list that's really worthy of being at S tier. To be honest with you guys, as an honest viewer and YouTube friend to, Va to Vanilla Rabbit Lover 2001 Productions Revival, I don't really think he has that many S tier casting choices in his spoof films. I mean, like. I mean, I don't know, uh, like, he might have, like, maybe, like, at least, like, two or three S-tier casting choices in his spoof films, but, yeah, not that many, although he did come close to having an S-tier casting choice for Donkey, he was gonna have an S-tier casting choice for Donkey for his Dookie Shrek movies, like, he one time told me that he was gonna have, he wanted to have Gumball Waterson from Gumball be Donkey, like, he was gonna have Gumball Waterson from The Amazing World of Gumball be Donkey for his Dookie Shrek movies, but uh, then he decided to have Johnny test himself be Donkey instead, so, yeah, if he were to have Gumball Waterson be Donkey, yeah, obviously, I would've considered that to be I would have loved it and would have considered it to be an S tier casting choice because, like I told you guys before, I I love I freaking love Gumball as Donkey. He's such a great choice for Donkey. It's an easy S tier for me. It's just it's still my favorite, by far my favorite Gumball casting choice from the spoof cast on YouTube. But no, he didn't have Gumball be Donkey. Instead, he had Johnny Test from. He, instead, he had Johnny Test from Johnny Test be Donkey, which is rather an A tier casting choice for me. But yeah, yeah, it's still a good casting choice. Uh, yeah, a bit of a downgrade how he went with Johnny instead of Gumball. But say, hey, hey, hey it's, it makes sense. It makes sense. I guess it makes more sense for Johnny to be Donkey rather than uh, Gumball if you have Dookie as Shrek. And besides, some more stuff. And besides, to help make up for that, uh, I've already seen like five Shrek spoof films. I've already seen like five Shrek spoof films. I have Gumball as Donkey. One of them having him be the stallion version of Donkey by having Goku turn into him for stallion Donkey. So yeah, that's so yeah, that's awesome. That. That's nice. That helps make up for that. But so, yeah, although it still would have been nice if he had used Gumball as Donkey in his uh, Dookie Shrek movies. But still, it's fine. It's fine. Johnny Test himself is still a good choice for uh, Donkey. And I'd say he's the perfect choice for Donkey if you have Dookie himself as Shrek. But yeah, um, hey guys, that's my tier list on his a uh, Shrek uh, on the villain casting choices from his Shrek and Toy Story spoof films. Again, everything everything I ranked on this list is either an A, B, or F tier. Um, yeah, nothing at S, nothing at nothing at S, nothing at C, nothing at D. Nope, just A, B, and F. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's my tier list, you guys. Uh, how would you guys rank... What? How would you guys... What would your guys' tier list be on the Shrek and Toy Story villain casting choices from, you know, from Vanilla Rabbit Lover 2001 Productions Revivals and Shrek and Toy Story spoof films? You guys can answer that question in the comment section down below if you want. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's Shadow Shrek cast video is coming out 
at 5.30 today, and yeah, that's coming out, and yeah, yeah, with all that being said, that's about it for this video, you guys. Bye, everyone. Have a Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Eve, and thank you all for watching this video. Links will be down in the description below. Bye.